let's take a look at adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Now, the same rules apply for algebraic fractions as they do for regular fractions. By that I mean that you cannot add fractions unless the denominators are the same. That's the golden rule. So the question here is how do we make the denominators the same? Now we can make fractions look different, okay? So, uh, but still mean the same thing. For instance, uh, one half is the same as two quarters. Okay. Now all we have to do to m make equivalent fractions is uh, multiply the top and the bottoms by the same factor. So if we multiply by two here. That's what gives you your uh, equivalent fraction. So what equivalent fraction is do we need here? Now, uh, what you need to do is look at the denominators and we need to find the lowest common multiple of these denominators. Uh, the lowest common multiple, what's that? Well, the multiple, I'll just write down the multiples of three. So three, six, that's the first multiple, second multiple. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. Okay, and the multiples of 4 would be 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. Now, what's the lowest common one? Well, just look at that list. What's the lowest common uh, multiple? Well, it's the 12. So, how do we make uh, our new equivalent fractions? Uh, well, you ask yourself, 3 multiplied by something equals 12, that's uh, that's the 4. Now whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Why can we do this? Well, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So all we're doing really is multiplying this, this fraction by 1. So we're not changing its value. Now if we look at this fraction over here, we say, well, how do we get 12 from 4? We multiply by 3. And this is going to give us our new equivalent fractions. So let's work down. So 2x times 4, you multiply the, the coefficient, the numbers there. So that's 8x over 12 plus 3x over 12. Now, because the denominators are the same, we can add these fractions together. So 8 and 3 is 11x over 12. And we have just added some algebraic fractions. Now, um, so that's our answer there. Let's, let's try another one. And we'll uh, try subtracting. So um, let's just uh, 5x over... 6 and uh, 2x over 3. Now, this is a subtraction, and uh, what is the common denomin denominator going to be? I often see uh, students multiply both sides, so you'd see people saying, oh, let's multiply the 3 by the 6 and the 6 by the 3 just because that's what you you do a lot of the times okay but you don't have to if you don't have to it's easier not to so uh, let's what do I mean by that well look at this the lowest common multiple here is actually 6 that 6 is the first multiple of itself and 6 is the second multiple of 3 so I don't even have to touch this fraction on the left I can uh, save myself a lot of work if I just multiply by 2, both sides. Okay, what are my new equivalent fractions? Well, that's 5x over 6 minus 4x over 6. Now, because they're common denominators, I can say that's uh, x over 6. Now, that's... Uh, Let's have a look at another one then.
Um, Four x over uh, we'll say seven plus three x over five. Right. So now it's a good idea if you um, if you when I'm writing these questions down, feel free to pause and uh, give it a go yourself, and you can just use my working to check afterwards. Um, and then you could do this with any of the videos. You don't have to. Um, if you if you can have a crack at it, you, you try it yourself. So, uh, well, let's multiply it by seven here. Five. Okay, common denominators, we can add it now. And that's uh, 41x. Now, there is one other convention that, uh, that I should mention is, is what is that the numerator, you, you would leave this fraction as a, an improper fraction. Okay, you, you, there's no need to convert this to a mixed numeral. And uh, for algebraic fractions, it's just the way it's done. So I guess le l less work for you to do. So just leave as improper. Okay, practice makes perfect. So, uh, well, practice makes better. So uh, go and practice. Okay, let's take a look then at fractions, algebraic fractions with the pronumeral in the denominator. So, um, now, just because the pronumeral is in the denominator, doesn't really change anything okay all we need to do is have common denominators now how do we get a common denominator well we're just looking for uh, them to be the same so ask yourself how could we make them look the same well just looking at the numbers okay common multiples of three um, and, and 2 would be the 6, the lowest common multiple. So let's, uh, if you just multiply by 2 this side and by 3, what do you get? Now, with that simple manipulation, we've uh, made the denominators the same, which is just what we need to do. And now we can add the tops together, the numerators, and we have our uh, simplified expression. Let's have a look at another one. So you go ahead and try this one. What would you need to do to uh, get the denominators the same? Well, if you've had a go, uh, hopefully you've uh, you've seen. Oh, I can multiply this by five, by five, and this side by four. By four, what you do to the bottom, do to the top, and we get eight over twenty x minus 25 over 20x. Now, denominators are the same. So we can, we can subtract this. Now this fraction on the right is larger than the fraction on the left. So we're going to have a negative result. Okay, so 
you find the difference between these two then make that uh, negative so uh, that's uh, 17 so you go negative 17 over 20x okay so you can give all those a go and uh, practice practice practice